Today we're going to be working on a drawing project that is inspired by Dr. Seuss's fish. So Dr. Seuss has fish in a couple different books. There is the goldfish and the cat in the hat and then he has the book one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And so what we're going to do is we are going to practice cartooning kind of in his style and then we're also going to create a fun background with brightly colored lines to put behind our fish. So we're going to start doing the lines first and then we'll make our fish afterwards. For the background, I want you guys to choose one color of marker and we're going to be repeating a pattern down the back of our page. So you'll choose one kind of marker and one type of line. So this person chose pink and they used straight lines. This person chose swirls. This person chose purple waves. More swirls and zigzag lines. Before you start, you will need to put your name on your paper, flip over, and then use your marker, and you can pick a line from the line poster above the smart board. So I'm gonna use wavy lines, and I'm just gonna go from one side of my paper to the other. Whenever you start looking at these papers, you're gonna see that his fish are very detailed. So don't worry about making yours exactly like his. We're gonna be inspired by him, which means we're not gonna copy it exactly. We're gonna use some details and we're also gonna make some details that are our own. After your background is finished, we're gonna follow along with the drawing steps to create our fish. So the first step, these are on the board and also on a handout. The first step says trace around your hand. And this is so you have plenty of space to add your fish's details. So I make a little mark by my finger, or you could also just draw above your hand. Now we're not tracing our hand or drawing our hand, we're just using that to make the size. And then you're gonna make a curve, kind of like a rainbow, going up and then a curve the other way. So that is your fish's body. Then it says, give your fish a smile or eyes. So you can draw any kind of eyes that you like. Dr. Seuss characters often have this little um, smiley face in their eye, like a little smile or like a little crescent moon. So I'm gonna draw that. And then I'm gonna make this fish surprised by putting his eyebrow there. And I'm gonna give him a smile. And if you want your fish to have a mouth that's open, draw another little smile, and then you'll just erase the little part in between. Then we're gonna follow step number three. It says add a tail. So for a tail, you make one line that goes up, one line that goes down, and then you're gonna connect them with one of the lines from the line poster. So I'm gonna connect with a wave, or you could connect with a zigzag. And then I like to make my fins match. So I'm gonna go up, and down and then I'm gonna put a wave here and a wave there. Then we're gonna trace this with a black crayon. When I color these fish I like to just pick two colors um, and I like to choose colors that are beside of each other in rainbow order. The last step is just to cut your fish out and glue it down. When you do this, you probably want to use your pencil and make a bubble line so it's almost like your fish is in a bubble so you don't accidentally cut anything off. So instead of cutting on your black line, you're gonna kind of trace around your fish close but not on the line and that's gonna make it easier to cut You guys remember that you get your scissors from the bookshelves and they have to match your table and you'll get a glue stick from the bookshelf. It's in the silver can and you're just going to put glue all around the edges and then you're going to glue your fish into your line background and that's it.